Good morning, everybody. I managed to hobble out to the shop. Uh, my left foot is twice as big as it should be. Uh, you walk around up there. Killer is all dirty. He's been crawling around in the sawdust out here. A she. It is a she. So, uh. Anyway, I'm gonna do what I can today and get done as much as I can. I uh, don't know how much that'll be, but I just have to wait and see. But uh, I thought we'd talk a, a little bit before I show you all some uh, knives I'm going to try to get finished today. Uh, let's talk about prepping just a little bit. Now, I don't, I'm not going to talk too much about it because there are other channels out there that are way better than I am about what to prep and all that kind of stuff. But one thing I don't hear on some of those channels is um, how about your tools? Tools around the house. Uh, you never know when you're gonna have to, you know, fix something, something breaks. Who's that? See, I think mom would get that in the house. But, uh, what'd you do that for? Don't knock my water over. She already had breakfast. She won't drink water. So I might have to give her a little bit of milk after she has her food. My auto warranty has expired. 0515 on an almost 25 year old truck my warranty finally expired so glad they told me that anyway tools now if you're prepping make sure you got a pretty good toolbox for the house if you have a shop like I do almost all the supplies that we get um, come from China we know that some come from Germany. I try to order German stuff when I can because we know there's not much made in the U.S. that you can get anymore. Uh, so make sure you're stocked up on that kind of stuff. Have you some hand tools. A good hand saw, a few screwdrivers, flat Phillips and Torx, uh, the square-headed ones. You can get those if you can find them. Um, at a Arbor Freight, you know, for some, if you don't use them all the time, you want down. Don't jump down here. There, you're getting fat. And anyway, uh, have some stuff like that in case you have to fix something around the house. If your neighbor has something, brakes or whatever, you know, help your neighbor out. Uh, I would suggest a good a tree saw, a bow saw, something like that to cut tree limbs if you know if you don't have gas for your chainsaw or if you don't have a chainsaw. Uh, speaking of bow saws, mine, oh there it is, he brought it back. <laughs> I was fixing to get on to my, my son Joey, but uh, he didn't hang it back up. Uh, things like that, drill bits, saw blades, sandpaper. Now I stay stocked up pretty good on all that stuff anyway because I use it every day and it's part of my making my living. But um, even if you don't use it every day it's good to have that kind of stuff. And some hand tools that don't require you know cordless t uh, power tools are great but what if it goes down and you can't charge those batteries? Everybody don't have a generator. Everybody can't afford a generator. I'm very fortunate to have one, but if you can't get gas for it, what are you going to do? So um, I am in the market for a few more hand tools, like a hand drill. I've got a bit uh, brace set, bit and brace, but that's good for big holes. If you need like a little tiny hole to drill a hole in something or to work on something, you need one of the old-fashioned hand drills, and I need one of those, and I'll, I'll find one somewhere best place to find things like that is uh, flea markets, yard sales. 
you can buy them new, or you can order them on uh, eBay, Amazon, those type of places. But chances are the ones you get there will be cheapo Chinese made, which uh, they'll, they'll work in a pinch. I mean, if you just need it once or twice, you know, they will work. But if you use stuff all the time like I do and like a lot of my friends do, you want something a little better quality if you can get it. So uh, I'm on the lookout for that. Also there's several power tools that I still need. But, um, I'll, I'll get them eventually. I mean, it'll, it'll come. But uh, anything to make a grid down situation easier on you, that's what you need to do. And I've heard a bunch of times people talking about if power goes down, we can't charge our cell phones. What are we going to do? We don't have our cell phones. Um, do you have a car? Does your neighbor have a car? You know those little things you plug in and plug it in the car and text while you're going down the road talking like most people do? Plug the damn thing in your car and shut up. That drives me crazy. But, um, I think cell phones are great the internet is great we're, we're all using it right now but um i also think it has made people too dependent and not be able to do something for themselves uh, if that screen don't tell you what to do a lot of people don't know what to do so uh common sense watch some of these prepper channels uh, there's a lot of good ones uh, Prepper Nation, The Prepared Mind, uh, just look up Preppers on YouTube, search YouTube Preppers and there's a bunch of them, and uh, these guys are, and girls are very good at what they do, they know what they're talking about, listen to them, they'll tell you what kind of food and all this kind of stuff, places to get it, but I just, I don't hear them talking about everyday things that you might need like tools you know because face it if something bad happens I'm not leaving here none of my family is leaving here we've got 10 acres right here and we're all living on it except for my daughter that lives in town and if something bad happens I'll go get her and the baby and the son-in-law if they can't get her I'll go get them because we can, we can survive out here. We know what to do. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, that's just one thing I wanted to mention. Uh, tools. Make sure you got plenty. Because they're getting hard to come by. Last time I was in the hardware store, the local hardware up in town, drill bit section, they didn't have much of anything. Uh, that I've never seen that store look like that. Very, very thin, if you know what I mean. And I really don't like even going up there anymore because most of the older the older crew that was in there, the old men that really knew where everything was at and knew how to do things that could help you, they're gone. Uh, they've got a very small crew nowadays. There are younger people, real young people for the most part. Uh, they have no clue about things. Even the cashiers are different and most of them are rude. <coughs> Excuse me. The manager that ran the store for years and years, I haven't seen him in a long time. So I don't know if he's still there or what. I don't know. It's uh, Things are going cattywampus thing so uh, hope you understand what I'm trying to say just get everything you can possibly think of that you need and just make sure you got some maybe nothing will happen we hope it don't but I'm afraid it will so there you go <coughs> now I'll be back out uh, be back on throughout the day with some clips, this and that and the other. 
as much as I can get done out here. And uh, if I don't get up and get going, I ain't gonna do nothing. Where'd Killer go? The only thing about Killer that aggravates me is that she will not stay out from under my feet. Every time I start to move, she's right under my feet. And um, every morning I go out on the back porch and have my coffee. I uh, look at my messages and this and that. And normally she's up there. And she got under my feet the other morning and I almost fell. I had to catch myself on that little table back there. She does that out here and I fall. Uh, there's all kind of stuff in the shop, as y'all can see, for me to crack my head off. So I've got to somehow try to train her to get out from under my feet. I've already stepped on her two or three times. But, uh, anyway, I'll be back. Random thought just came into my head. I was looking around on the uh, the Book of Faces thing. And I keep seeing this phrase that the kids are saying now. Stay in your lane, bro. I think that means people of my generation. I think that is uh, equivalent to we used to say, if you don't like it, shut your mouth. Is that accurate? That tool is just awesome. Now, I noticed these, uh, I already used it a little bit. I missed the clip I had for uh, yesterday's video. These drums that came with it are not much. They're very, um, the grit just don't hold on there. So what I did, I went searching on the internet on Amazon First, I went to combat abrasives. They don't have drums. They've got everything. Yeah, they got plenty of belts, but no drums. Uh, at the Harbor Freight, uh, how many is there? There's one, two, three, four, five different sizes, or oh, six different sizes. $17.99 for six. And they're probably not any better than this. But I did find, uh, yeah, it's got to be six, 18. An 18 pack, three different grits. That's what I need. Uh, 80 grit, I think 120 and 220. That's what I wanted for six, like I said, $16. So I ordered that. And that should be here, I said, delivery by tomorrow. So the rougher grit, the 80 grit, is what I'll use for roughing them and then i'll go to the smoother grits but uh this works the tool is fine absolutely fine but uh, now everything is square when i put it on the router to knock the edges off everything will be even
that was noisy, wasn't it? And I used a chamfering bit to knock the corners off. Because I think the chamfered edge, when you get done, gives you more grip than uh, a roundover. Roundover might be prettier, but uh, the chamfer bit to me is the best way to go. I'm going to do these on all these, be done the same way. Everything I do is done the same way. Then we'll go to the hand sanding and all that little bit. Now this is a Alabama Damascus Rattler. Let's see, cover stuck on there right now. But, um, this one will be available here very shortly. Plus the next one I'm going to do. Plus a Damascus Mini Skinner. Alright, let me get these done. Uh, my foot is just about to give out on me. I'm not going to be able to stand much longer. So. Let me get back to it. It's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. Now, so in the last video where my magnet came apart because it got hot. Now that magnet is not designed to take heat. So I searched around on Amazon, bad as I hate Amazon. I searched around and found these. These are welders magnets, which are designed to take heat. Now this is a 75 pound, which may be a little overkill, but my other one is a 200 pound. And uh, this one, they're $10 and 90 something cents a piece, next day shipping, and I need them now. So, uh, that's why I got these. And I got two of them. Four. Uh, now and again, I'll have a very long piece of steel where I need to support the whole thing down. And these are the brand Grip. Just like my, my biscuit joiner. Grand Rapids, Michigan. That's what they used to be. And of course, nowadays... They still say Grand Rapids, Michigan, but they're made in China. Sometimes you just got to, you know. Y'all know how it is. So anyway, there we go. Now, I can get back to flattening out some steel in a day or two. Hey, and they sent me some free packing material. Some of y'all will see that again. Here we go. Now, I just had to run up and pick up my son from work. And I got these uh, corners knocked off. I thought I would get done with these today and a couple more, but I'm just, I just can't do it. I've been on my feet all day. I've got to go sit down because my left foot is just giving me the what for. Anyway, sneak peek. Alabama Damascus Rattlers. I have two. Anybody's interested, let me know. A website price, two twenty-five each. Of course, that is all finished up with a nice sheath with a rattlesnake stamp on there. This one is a mini skinner. Mini skinners are very, very nice for ladies or young people. Smaller handle. Because typically ladies don't have those great big old hands like we do. Alabama Damascus. Mini skinner, $150. I checked out the prices from uh, Alabama Damascus knives that a friend of mine makes and 
I won't call his name, but he is way, way, way higher than I am. And good for him. But, uh, that's what I got. And I've got a bunch more almost finished. I'll do what I can tomorrow. And Killer has slept all day until now, and he's up under my feet. Come here. Come here, killer. Tell everybody bye. Give him that mean face. If you come in my shop, I'll get you. Tell him about it. You ain't gonna tell him? Nope. Alright. All he wants to do is eat. You had enough to eat today. <laughs> all right i'm going in thank y'all for watching thank you for your support thank you for putting up with me being silly and i will see y'all in a couple of days or maybe even tomorrow i don't know depends on how i feel